you gotta listen up, listen up. There's not a thing that I can get from you. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be a little different. Um, we have some really bad news to share with you guys and you guys are like our family so we thought this was something that we should tell you. As you guys know, we have Honey, our puppy, uh, the golden retriever. Uh, we got her a few months ago like when she was a baby and she's six months old and she's not doing good. She's in the hospital right now. Yeah, and she was like throwing up green and like she's really bad. Like she was like sleeping the whole day and she was really bad. She's usually very energetic and running around and she was just laying around and we knew right away that something was wrong. So we took her to the vet. And, and things got really scary because they told us at first they didn't know if she had some type of virus that puppies get or if she had swallowed a toy um, or like an object. So and, and the hardest part was like with everything going on now we couldn't even go with her so she had to go in alone and she's she's gonna be in the hospital. Yeah, they came to like, the car and, and, and right picked her up and took her so inside sure. and we and had to right wait now. outside the whole time and, and just wait for whatever news they were gonna give us. Mm -hmm. What were you gonna and say, right Bella? Now she's literally in the doctor's wait now. Yeah, she's in the and, doctor. And she need and she might just need surgery. Yeah. yeah, so what happened, so the first day when she started throwing up and everything, I called the vet and I said, okay, um, I need to make an appointment, you know, our dog is not feeling well, she looks really bad. So they're like, oh, bring her in. So we brought her in the next morning and they did x-rays and a bunch of stuff and they said that, they, again, that they weren't sure what was wrong. So we spent all day, like, worried and then they called us and they're like, look, we're going to give her some medication and we're going to send her home. So then she came home to us and we're like, oh, okay, she's fine, she seemed normal, she was playing outside. But then the following uh, morning, she was really bad. Like we were like, honey, honey, yeah, and she, she woke was just... up and it was night and day. She was back to her like her worst stage. Yeah, from the day she before. got even worse after. Yeah, and she couldn't even walk. At that time, they told us that they were gonna do X-rays, and mm -hmm. the first set of X-rays they didn't see. They they suspected they saw something, but they couldn't mm -hmm. tell. So they had to wait and give her some kind of medicine to be able to see better. Um, then they gave her a second set of x-rays and that's where they saw that she had some kind of obstruction in her stomach. She, they thought she had swallowed a toy or a rock or something maybe outside. They, they weren't sure. What were you going to say, Bella? And she also... Bella, are you feeling okay? Yeah. Your sugar is ringing that it's slow. Here, drink some juice. As you guys know, we actually got honey. Um, when she was a baby, we got her because... As you guys know as well, Bella is a type 1 diabetic and her sugars drop. Like right now, as we're filming this, her sugar was ringing that it was dropping. Did you drink the whole juice? No. Drink the whole juice, baby. So we got honey and I was training her to be a diabetic alert dog to help us with, you know, she can smell when Bella's sugar gets low. So we started doing that training and she was doing so well. Good girl, honey. Good job. So yeah, so she's part of our family um, and yeah. we love her so much and yesterday we were like in tears because we didn't know if she's gonna make it and right now she's in the vet and the hardest part is that we can't go inside because of the coronavirus, you know, the veterinarians are wearing like masks and we have to wear masks and we have to be in the car and then they call us and tell us what's going on and they've sent us pictures and... So this was, it was just really bad timing because mm -hmm. We, we want to be there for her and, and we can't. We have to stay outside in the car. We can't go inside the office. Mm -hmm. we're, we're just waiting around to see what happens. Um, yeah. So you know. yesterday when we brought her home, she was so bad. Like she was, all she would do was move her eyes. Like she couldn't even move her head, her body. She was just laying there and it broke her heart. And, and we were just, what? Yeah. yeah. And like her eyes were rolling back and everything. It was really scary. Yeah. And but, uh, guess what? The next day she had this little thing all over her little Oh yeah, oh, yeah. they had to put her in IV yeah. her to give her lots of fluids. They said she was dehydrated so they had to put fluids through an IV in her in her leg. But the thing is she loves water and ice but she didn't want any. And she didn't want to that's eat. That's how you know she's sick. Yeah, she yeah, literally she didn't eat for like two days. She didn't want water, nothing at all she didn't want to play with her toys you would be like honey you want to go outside and she would just look at you with this sad little puppy face like she was in so much pain that it made us be in a lot of pain and we we're crying because we don't want nothing to happen to her because we love her and right now as we film this video 
she's about to go into surgery because the doctors finally realized that yeah she does have something in her stuff in her stomach so they're gonna have to operate it and they said that the surgery is the size of a water bottle which is huge which for is her really little big. body i mean she's a little big but still yeah she's 52 big. pounds she's like a big puppy she's a really big puppy <laughs> yeah. yeah but it's just so sad that she's, she's gonna have to go through this six she's only yeah. six months old and bella how do you feel about this Really sad for her, honey. Like she's only young. She didn't really feel this way. Like my stitches, I felt well. I couldn't even feel it, but she could. Yeah, she could yeah. feel it already. You can tell she, Yeah, you can tell she's in a lot of pain. And I don't know if this is gonna sound funny or not, but like. I know she's a dog, but she just feels like another sister to me. Like, she's like... And the other night, she slept with Alex and I because she was feeling bad. And I'm going to enter in a picture because she was literally hugging Alex. And like, she yeah. was in so much pain. It was so back. sad. But she, like, put her hand, like, on him. Like, hold me, daddy. She's I like, don't feel good. She's like another human. She's, she's really baby. And she's super smart. Like... I'm telling you, she's an amazing dog. You guys have seen her in the video. She's silly. She always wants to be. But actually, you guys have actually seen her in the video trying to eat some of the slime or trying yeah. to eat some of the like ingredients. And that's why, because she's a puppy. So like she starts teething and she just wants to eat everything. She doesn't know better. She, she doesn't, doesn't know, know any better. So we're always like, honey, no. She thinks it's a toy. Yeah. yeah. But obviously we can't like be 24-7 looking at her. So in a little minute that you turn away, she's probably like, oh, look at this yummy toy. Let me eat it. And then now, you know, she's going to need surgery, which is also really, really, really expensive. Yes. Yeah. So it's very, and very expensive surgery that she's having now. And it's just a little thing. And then it's like. Surgery. We have to do surgery when it's just a little thing. Yeah. Why does so it have to be surgery? Yeah, and there's a couple things that we think it could be. I think, because we have a mango tree, so I think it's a seed from a mango. Because she's always eating mangoes. She loves mangoes. Mm -hmm. But she's always eating them, and I think she might have swallowed a seed. And what do you think it is, Bella? Uh, you think it's one of your, like, LOL toys, maybe? Maybe. I have seen her chewed on one before. She's eaten a few of, uh, like, not eaten. She never ate them. But she, like, will, like, bite chew on them Bella's, up. yeah, chew yeah, them up. Chew Bella's them dolls, up. like, her Barbies and stuff. Because she doesn't know. So she's just like, oh, Barbie, let me just chew it up. She thinks and it's like a treat or something. Yeah. When, you know? when she just left this doll in the bed and her hand and the oh. The hands and legs are already like chipped off. Oh yeah, on she has a dog that only has one arm and one leg is already <laughs> chewed up the rest. Yeah. And what do you think it is, babe? I think it might be one of those squishies that they took in the pool the other day because oh, they yeah. left them out in the grass and uh, I mean, they they were there. The doctor says it could be anything from like a sock to a toy, we don't know. I honestly think that it might be a rock because I've caught her a few times like honey no because she starts putting She's the rocks we have like rocks in the backyard we've we've thrown away a bunch of them but some of them are still there and I think that she might have been like oh look at this look at this yummy rock and she probably put it in her mouth and mm -hmm. accidentally swallowed it like have you guys ever chewed gum and then you're like oh this is so good and then you swallow it it's kind of yeah. like what happened to her but at, something the same, bigger. but at the same time she's always like uh digging holes so like she might have like uh, ate a bunch of dirt uh, we don't know honestly we don't know but all we can do right now is pray for her and ask you guys to please and you she know, might even have worms who knows she might have worms no that's what they thought actually bella's bringing up a good point they thought she had like worms because puppy get warm i don't know if you guys have any pets but puppies tend to get like um worms but it wasn't that they ended up seeing that it, she did swallow something baby i think they thought at first because because of her energy level the the worms sometimes they they make her feel sick but when they checked they checked and she didn't have any worms she was very healthy other than you know the and the thing in her stomach that's it's blocking her from being able to go to the bathroom and it's making her and she feel can't very eat sick. nothing and, and it was really yeah, sad and, and what made it like the most scary at the beginning was like we didn't know what it was we didn't know if it was worms we didn't know if it, it was like this really bad like Virus? disease what was yeah. it called um no i don't like remember the name but it, it was like no no not corona, corona. <laughs> <laughs> no, not coronavirus. A different type of virus that puppies get. We're yeah, not sure right. if it was that or what it could be. But now that we know what it is and now that she's going through surgery, all we can do is first thank God that she's okay as of right now. And today she woke up feeling a lot better. Like we were like, honey, and she was like wagging her tail and she went outside to use the bathroom and, um, you know, she yeah. peed because she and still can't like poop. We yet actually thought that she was, she woke up so good today that we thought that. You know she was cured yeah, that, she, she, that maybe she had passed whatever you know she swallowed and that yeah, everything was going to be okay 
but we still took her into the vet to make sure because they said they wanted to run an another set of x-rays yeah and when they did the x-rays they saw that she still has yeah, it there so it. they had to go in and do the surgery so they called us and they said we, we have bad news you know she's gonna need the surgery and after the surgery they're gonna put her like a cone Oh, yeah, and so, so that sad. she can't oh because the thing is that puppies like they're innocent you know they don't know so she might want to try to bite the stitches and her stitches again are gonna be really big so like the size of a water bottle so she might try to bite it and if she bites it they're gonna have to again Another you know surgery. open it and, and now they're gonna put her to sleep so before the oh, surgery yeah. and we're not even there with her we can't even comfort her which is the hardest mm -hmm. part it makes so it so it's, sad it's, it's gonna be bothering her and and if she tries to like scratch it or whatever she might actually hurt herself more so yeah, they put they put like a cone around her head so she can't reach it she she can't hurt like, herself, scratch herself. Mm -hmm. and i don't know if we mentioned it but the thing that she has inside of her which we don't know yet it's like how big was it like this big they said like the size of a golf ball a golf ball yeah mm -hmm. And also, oh, I'm so scared. I'll put a picture as well of her x-ray, one of her x-rays, so that you guys could see like the size, how big it is, what she has inside. Mm -hmm. What were you going to say, Bella? Uh, maybe, who knows, they could be like a whole slime container. Who knows? Bella's <laughs> <laughs> a slime container. Oh, slime. So cute. I don't think she would have eaten a slime container. That like, sounds really hard. Yeah. But Or maybe there was like some broken plastic and then she ate yeah. it. That could have been it. But too. we'll find out what it is and we'll make another video letting you guys know like an update after her surgery and let you guys know what is it that she ate because they'll be able to see it once they take oh, it out. Or it could be and like some of my dog clothes. Who yeah. knows? And if you yeah. guys have like a pet or something, let us know like what do you think she ate because we still don't know. It could be yeah. a mango, it could be a rock, it could be dirt. So many well, the, I just right after the surgery, they're, they're going to let us know. They're going to let us know what they found. They're going to, you know, mm -hmm. give us an update on, on how she's feeling. And, and if you guys have a pet or you've ever had a pet or you just love animals, then you know how, why we're so like sad and why we're so like calm in this video. We're not like, hey, JB squad, because we're really like, Perfect. we're not crying right now, but we've cried so much that we almost can't cry anymore. Our eyes, I had to take Tylenol yesterday. I had a headache hey. from crying. The girls, we didn't want to eat our lunch or our dinner because we didn't know if she was going to make it through the night. I mean, it was that bad. She looked really bad. Like, she looked like she was going to pass away. Oh, and, and something else was that she was drooling and, like, her nose was really... Uh, oh, yeah, so when we took her she in died. yesterday, oh. she had a bunch of, like, foam and saliva and, like, her nose was, like, really stuffy. So I, And she couldn't even get out of the car. Like, they had to come, the nurse had to come, like, with her mask and, and suit it up to carry her to take her in because we couldn't go inside and she couldn't walk of how bad she felt so the nurse told us that that means that she was nauseous which means like she felt like throwing up yeah um and, and then they took her in but the funny thing is that i want to tell you guys is that today when we took her in hold on one second maybe today when we took her in it was the complete opposite i guess she was feeling better since they had put her in the iv yesterday and given her medicine because today when we took her she saw the nurse come to the car and she looked at her and she was like like she was like who are you how She's did like, you I find remember. me She's like, i remember what you did to me yesterday. i remember what you did to me yesterday because they had to shave her little paw so i think she remembered and was like i don't want to come back here but so that's a good sign that she's feeling better which makes us feel better and yeah. it could have been a doll shoe <laughs> she's still thinking like of what it could be like one of my be. big doll shoes like one of your this big doll shoes really yeah. scary yeah. honestly let us know if you guys have ever had a pet that feels like your sister or like i don't know yeah just, that's what this it feels is all like. very new to us i mean this it's mm -hmm. it's hard to process everything that's going on at one time and especially with everything going on in the world and mm -hmm. and now having to to deal with something so you know difficult right now and yeah. it's just words can't explain what and, I and we do i know you guys are probably like wondering when we're gonna film another slime video so we actually do have a slime video that we filmed before all this happened i haven't edited it yet i haven't had a chance to edit it but i will edit it oh ah, there's a little fly <laughs> i will edit it for you guys i promise i'll probably post this video first and then maybe tomorrow i'll put that slime video up for you guys so that i know that during these hard times you look forward to watching our videos and yeah. you know seeing the girls make slime that makes you happy and it makes you laugh so we don't want to bring more bad news to you um we want you to know that everything's going to be okay we believe that she's going to be fine she's going to make it through the surgery yes. and we'll let you guys know we'll do an updated video updated, yeah. the doctor said that luckily it 
it stayed in her stomach. It didn't go down further. So it should Plus, be a yeah. simple operation. I mean, there's a 97, per, 97, 98 chance that she will make it to the surgery. So yeah. that's a really so good she thing. She has a very good chance of making it out perfectly fine. But, you know, we still it, it, it bothers us and, and hurts us to see, you know, her have to suffer for something mm -hmm. so simple. Yeah. And the doctor had said that it's kind of okay. good that it's in her stomach instead of her what's your sugar? Cause... I'm sorry guys, one second. I'm just looking because Bella looks... You feel fine? Because mm -hmm. your lips are pale. Mm -hmm. See guys, that's why. That's another reason why Honey is... I mean, we love her as a pet because we've grown to... I mean, we've seen her as a baby girl. Yeah. But another thing why she means so much to us is because as you see, Bella's sugars drop and she doesn't recognize her symptoms. And honey, one day we'll be able to save Bella's life. Yeah. And that's why we. And she's already smelling me like when my sugar was when high. Sugar's... She was you... like sniffing me and licking me mm -hmm. all over yeah. my life. She's and... just a puppy and is learning, but she already like when Bella's sugar drops or gets high, she starts like sniffing her like. <laughs> <laughs> like and she, you guys, to warn us. we've literally had honey since she was like the size of my hand, and now she's like the size of Bella. I actually did one on TikTok, a video with her. She was like almost my height. Yeah, she's grown so much she so fast. And height. actually, if you guys watched that TikTok that I had did, it was the same night that that's the night she threw up. Yeah, that, that night, night she threw up like two big things. And it was green and it was chunky and weird. Like, okay, that's like, getting into too much information. Yeah, I know it's gross, but for real, it's yeah, it was scary. Yeah, it was really scary. It's and scary. so, I was going to say one more thing. Um, I can't remember right now because my mind is like... But yeah, so we just wanted to say, for those of you, because I did post on Instagram, I don't know if you guys follow us. If you don't, um, try go follow us because we do post. It's really hard stuff. for all um, of us because it's like my sugars. It's like Corona. It's like the dog. All mm -hmm. that sugar that I'm mine and we just have to do all that Yeah, it's stuff. a really hard time. It's been a really hard time for us. But back to what I was saying was that if you go follow us on Instagram, like sometimes we post a little bit more like you know what happens and then for those of you that have reached out to us on instagram and have messaged us because we have more than like a thousand messages saying you know that, that you're praying for honey there's fan pages for honey there's you guys are just amazing you're the best squad yeah. in the world we can't thank you enough for all the love and support that you guys have shown us since we were like one subscriber like we yeah. just want to thank you because it means a lot and it really during these times like all we can do is be a family and know that we'll get through this together. Yeah, we love you all so much and I'm really sorry that I haven't like commented on my TikTok stuff and on like we haven't been like commenting on our Instagram uh, stuff. It's just that we're really busy right now as you guys can tell and there's There's so much on. going on. Yeah. And we hope that you all are super safe and that your pets are safe too and if your pets are um, like sick too or your parents are sick or you're sick, it's okay we're all in this together. And we're all gonna be okay so don't worry. And we're sorry that this is a sad video, but hopefully the next video will be good news and honey will be fine. And we love you guys to the moon and back. Bella, are you sure you feel okay? Yes. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, she's making me nervous because she looks a little pale. Um, we love you guys so much and we just want to say thank you for everything. And don't worry, everything's going to be okay. We'll keep you guys updated. So, yeah, we love you all We too. love you to the moon and back. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay safe. Bye. Bye. Bye.